There we go. I'm alive finally. We're over the technical difficulties. Over here at Freshwater Cuisine, we have. Uh, hey, look, this is how you sharpen a knife. In. Uh, e. Uh, e. If you don't trust yourself, down. I don't use our fancy uh, commercial knife sharpener. <clears throat> Didn't that cost us 10 grand? 13. 13. The finest of the uh, finest. Hey folks, late to plate. This is uh, Chef Jay Bernard. This is Chef Jay Bernard. Does that sound right? This is, yeah. This is, this is Chef Jay Bernard. Are you questioning your identity? Who am I? We have an exciting episode today, don't we? Actually, first let's say thank you to the Novas. Thank you to Thunder Bay. Uh, I was actually shocked. Were you shocked? I wasn't really shocked. No, you really semi shocked. I mean, you had a fifty percent shot. Well, I had a fifty percent chance of winning, but I mean, the lineup was like, yeah, it was a great lineup. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, once they got to number four, I mean, there was only five. Yeah, some great honorees. Great honorees. Uh, it was great to be uh, selected for uh, what was it again? Business. Business and, and professional development. Yeah, business and professional achievement award oh, for Mr. J. Bernard. But we also know that that isn't just J. Bernard's. Lit up the oven. Um, we also know that that isn't just Jay Bernard's award. That's my whole team's. That's everybody that helps me. That's all our people that buy our products. That's everybody that's ever said anything about freshwater cuisine, correct? Indeed. That's exciting. Uh, February 7th. We're into February. Lots of fish last month? That was a good month. Good Not January. Bad. We broke a new market, which is exciting. I don't even want to touch on it, but we broke a new market. That's very exciting. Lots happening. Lots happening with freshwater cuisine. February 7th. We're down there at the Kenora Chambers, right? Yeah, seven, seven gents. gents. Uh, Freshwater Cuisine's up for small innovative business for the second year in a row. And I'm up for... Manager, Manager of the Year. Manager of the Year. <coughs> Manager of the year. Must have been one of our uh, lovely staff who nominated you. I, I think it must have been Trenton. <laughs> I thought it was Mo. Mo Nibbly! Was it you? It was Down there name. at East Trade Green Tree, or whatever it is. Northwest East... Anglet, Minnesota. Northwest Anglet, Minnesota. Uh, so that's coming up. Uh, we also yesterday got an exciting call from Jeff Leal, who is the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Affairs. I'm not going to say anything about why he called, but it's very exciting that they're calling and that they're asking Freshwater Cuisine. And they're actually, um, Freshwater Cuisine made another statement, didn't we? Yeah. We did. Uh, so in the coming weeks, you're going to hear where Torn and I are going to go next. Which is exciting, probably Southern Ontario. Where in the world somewhere. is Freshwater Cuisine? It's like uh, the old show, you probably watched it. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That's it. Where in the world is Freshwater Cuisine? And just like on the, uh, you know that uh, game that had the red blue dots and you had to do the stretching and you spin it? Twister. Twister, right? I don't so want to see you play Twister. You don't want to see me play Twister. We played Twister yesterday, though, didn't we? <laughs> nice. And, and, uh, twist, turn, and catapult. <laughs> twist, turn, and catapult. Um... Should we talk about it a little bit? Yeah. Uh, no? Yeah. You don't want to? I mean, we survived. That's we're we're like, lucky to be here. I that's, think that's... that's huge that we survived. Yes. Um, anyway, we hit some black ice, decided to take a trip on a truck, and uh, Torn and I survived it. Um, don't know how we did, but we did. Um, so, this weekend, Super Bowl? Yeah. Pats so, versus Eagles. Minnesota. And you're probably going with the favors, the Pats. I like the Pats. I like Tom you Brady. Know, you always pick the favorite team. No, I'm a Leafs fan. Oh, yeah, true enough. That fucking... I like Tom Brady. Bill Belichick. Right, okay. Dynasty. That was, I'm going with the Eagles. But uh, Freshwater Cuisine wanted to do three crazy appetizers. using. We're going to use the Nutri-Grill again. Back on the so, uh, you know, if you never picked up your Nutri-Grill last week... Or Chase got one. Chase! Chase, my man! Chase got one. I heard he did a great party at... Uh, where is he at? I don't know. Somewhere the off University the University of Winnipeg with yeah. a bunch of U of strippers. M. Was he with a bunch of strippers in the Nutri Girl? That's what he said. Yeah. Chewing up meat or something? I don't know. But anyways, uh, if you never got your Nutri Girl, go to www.nutrigrill.ca. Promo code Lake to Plate. That's a capital L A K E T O P L A T E, and we'll give you thirty dollars off today. Was that yesterday. last week? I don't know. <laughs> we'll give you thirty dollars off again. Use Just keeps promo going. Keep promo code Lake to Plate. Uh, the Nutri Grill is amazing. You can do so many things on it. Um, we're going to be using it, you know, maybe once, twice a week, right? Or once, twice a month. Yeah, every now and then. Yeah, every now and then. When it's it very fits. good. Very easy to clean, eh? Yeah, it was did, very nice. Did you notice that last year? Best thing is, this top part gets to about 500. The mode is really cool, so you can. Hey, Stephen McMillan, if you're watching, you want to send us some accessories so we can uh, step it up a notch on the Nutri 
truck grill. Okay, so today we're gonna do walleye bruschetta. Beautiful, eh? Beautiful. I brought the walleye bruschetta down to the Whole Health Pharmacy Partners when I was down there Sunday. That was another great honor, speaking in front of a bunch of pharmacists, staff, doctors, uh, about what alcoholism and addiction did to me, um, what I'm doing today to stay clean and sober, uh, all my things from being Jay Corey. It was just an amazing opportunity, but it was a, we took down the walleye bruschetta. That was really and it was a huge hit. They loved the walleye bruschetta. So we're going to do walleye bruschetta. It's really easy, really simple. Then we're going to kick it into the walleye pickerel cheeks. We haven't done anything with cheeks, have we? No, never touched them. This is another value-added product that uh, that is very exciting, very tasty. You can do it in so many different ways. And then we're going to do... What do you think that is? Well, I mean, I know what it is. You know what it is. Looks like a bucket of ketchup. It is a bucket of ketchup. We're actually going to cook with white fish livers. Is that a value-added product? Oh, I hear it's what? a delicacy. It's a delicacy. And you know what? Actually, whitefish livers have more potassium than a banana. So, folks, if you want to buy pounds and kilos, kilos, no, I'm not selling drugs, but pounds, not selling pounds either, <laughs> skids of whitefish livers and replace your banana, we could probably help you out. Hey? Yeah, nothing like a morning liver. No, nothing like a morning liver. Okay, so uh, anything else happening? I don't know. We should no, get going, though. We got lots to do. We got lots to do. Okay, so we're going to get some butter in the moat. I think we need more butter. Just bucket. In. Just look at that, and it goes. Butter right? it all up. Let that melt down. We're gonna throw some garlic in there too. So what are we doing in the Nutri Grill? What's going on? Well, we're gonna do the cheese. So we're gonna do mushroom, garlic, buttered onion, cheeks. You know, I hope this goes better than the last time where we tried doing three things on the show. You remember what episode that was? No. That was the Halloween extravaganza, which was a little over the top. Was it? Uh, what well, was moose loin, pumpkin spaghetti, oh, holy frog God. legs. Oh yes, that was like, sucker. That was over the top. Wasn't I think there was a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Okay, take your onions and they go. Remember, the Nutri Grill does all the cooking. All you got to do is put it in the moat. The odd time, give it a stir, but you just want it to do. You just want it to cook down. That's all you're gonna do. We're gonna finish off the cheeks in there at the very end. Take your mushrooms that torn cut up already. Remember, you did these last yeah, night. Yeah, so it's giving her. So we're just throwing the mushrooms in, porcini mushrooms. This is it. This is how easy to pack I like shiitakes. Do you? No, not really. You don't even like much, do you? Okay, then we get a little uh, spoon. And we're just going to let this sit here and do its thing. I like the kind of. We might need a little more butter. It looks a little on the bottom on this side. Yeah, does it? Yeah. Maybe we need a shot of oil. Huh? Yeah, a little oil in there, probably. You know what actually would work probably pretty good? White wine? Champagne. Yes, it would. Should we throw some champagne in there? You gonna pop the champagne? Should I? I don't know. Do we save it for a different show? Should be chilled. Should be, should that, be chilled, but it's going in cooking. Wow. What? Are you afraid that you're gonna have to drink the champagne today? The warm champagne. Yeah. Let's just use oil. We'll throw some oil in there. Oily, oily. Very good. We're gonna throw some uh, salt and pepper in there. No, we're back in Thunder Bay. Grace loaded us up with some spices. Yep. Let's uh, big shout out to Grace. We actually got some crazy things going on with Grace. Okay, the next one we're going to do, Torn, we got our oven on, or we got our stove top on six. We also have the deep fryer set for 355 for when we deep fry the livers. We're going to want to get these, uh... What's going in next? Oh, oh a little bacon. Mm. Thick cut bacon. So we're going to do the, um... The livers are going to be sautéed. After they're deep fried, they're going to be sautéed with bacon and uh, Brussels sprouts. I love thick bacon, eh? No, I can't go wrong. Well, and you know what's nice about thick bacon? It's not like a thin piece of paper and, uh, you know what I mean, you're not messing around trying to pull it or, you know, you're getting the cheap stuff from wherever. Do you ever use uh, Italian bacon, pancetta? I do use it, yeah. Pancetta's we nice. should actually use yeah, that. Yeah, some pancetta. We should make a fish carbonara. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, we have some exciting things happening this weekend. Yeah, we have lots going on. So, we're just uh, fine dicing this up and then we're going to toss this right into the heat. The deep fryer or the nope, right walk. into the right into the walk. Walky walky. Walky walky. Look at that, it's super hot. Let's Bacon walk and roll. In. Nice. Love the walk. Toss. That's going. We're gonna toss some garlic in there, Thorn. Then we're gonna cut the uh, the sprouts. We're gonna cut the sprouts. So we're gonna cut the ends off. We'll cut these in half. Cut the ends off. 
So is it a healthy appetizer if there is uh, Brussels sprouts in it? Well, I just, I don't know, I just thought bacon, Brussels sprouts, deep fried livers. That's a good combination. What was it, uh, who was it who won that thing there? Um, barbecue, but at the uh, Top Chef, yeah, they won with their uh, Brussels sprout. Deep fried Brussels sprouts. Yeah. They did deep fried or something? Yeah, yeah they did like a deep fried uh, Caesar salad Brussels sprout plate. It was good. So the Nutri Grill is doing the work. You can tell I do nothing with the Nutri Grill. I just let it do its thing. I'm not doing anything with it. I will stir it in a minute, but I'm not doing anything now. I want all those things to cut. That's so nice, eh? Throw these in there right away. So only pan fry the sprouts. Yep, so we're just pan frying the sprouts. We're getting that in there. Maybe a couple more or what? Yeah, a couple more. I like this dish. It's very uh, earthy. Oh, it's nice, you know. Right? Nice and earthy. Nice flavors to it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's on the go. Let's give this a little stir. This is nice. Look at it. It's coming together now. It's starting to cook down. You can start moving it around. You're not going to yeah, make a mess. Your mushrooms are shrinking. You're... Right? It's beautiful. You're cutting it down. It's beautiful. You can smell that garlic. Nice in there. garlic. Okay, let's get some salt and pepper over here. Throw some, uh, let's use some grease and spice. Which one are we using today? We're going to use jalapeno. Oh, add a little kick to it. If I can get into it. Can I get into it? I got into it. That jalapeno okay. has a very nice kick. That's it. We're we'll putting a little bit of jalapeno in there. Nice. Okay, next one we want to do is take the cover off the deep fryer. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. We're going to take the livers. What well, are we doing with the livers? Right into the right into the egg mixture. Are we doing a three-way? Oh, uh, it's only, only a two-way. Two, two some today. Two some today. So we're it just takes gonna, two to tangle. It takes two to tangle. So what are we throwing it in? Okay, so uh, where did we pick this up? Ah, uh, secret spot. Secret spot. So this is a secret. Uh, it was called the crack of batters. Not sure what that means, but uh, that's it. So we're just gonna take our eggs and our livers, just toss them in toss the crack. Toss them right in the crack. That's what they called it. This is a special recipe that nobody will share with us. But they gave us a bag. Of they gave us a bag back. of it. So we thought we'd put the livers on it. It's the exact same place we got the livers. <laughs> okay, so you're just going to mix this up like this. See how it takes to it? Nice. Give this a flip. Turn the heat down. Don't want to burn your Don't burn Brussels that. sprouts. Which I keep wanting to call asparagus. Now we're putting it into the deep fryer. Oh, Jason Damskov is watching. Good morning. Good morning to you, Jason. Hope you like whitefish livers. These are just going in. Deep frying the whitefish livers. They shouldn't take long. They should not take long. You want to go till they're just a little bit golden brown. Then we're going to toss them in with our bacon and... Uh, Let all those flavors cook together. That's it. Beauty. Okay, next. Next up. Are we going to start the bruschette? We're going to start the bruschette. You know the next thing we're going to work on this year? Better kitchen. Better kitchen. Hey, food frames. Hey, anybody that has a better kitchen, why don't you give us a call? We've got some crazy things happening. I'd like a dishwasher. Yes, a dishwasher is nice. Okay, this is nice. Okay, now what we're going to do... Now. We're gonna pull that aside. How's our livers looking? Look at that. Oh, they're frying up nicely. Not quite golden yet. Though. That one doesn't want to be in with the family. Didn't they compare this uh, batter to KFC? That's what they said. Look at that. Popcorn livers. It does what the uh, KFC looks to it though. That it does. Then what we're gonna do from here. Right into here. Then whatever you missed in here, just scoop it up. A little crunch. A little crunch. Like a crouton. And it goes. So we're just going to leave that to the side for now. We're going to toss. Nice. Do that a little cook. Okay, over here, need me some gloves. What happened to your other gloves? 
got dirty. Let's throw the cheeks in there, I think, eh? Yes. We'll throw the cheeks in there, and we'll get on to the walleye bruschetta. Walleye bruschetta is amazing in so many different ways. Okay, you know the other thing I want to do over here? A little more butter in there. Uh -huh. Do I? All right, can't go wrong with a little extra butter. You know what I want to do? What's that? What about some sauce? What kind of sauce? Vodka? Nope. Tomato? This. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. So we got a little maple chili sauce in there. Some of the finest that you can get from uh, Cisco. They sell this, it's great. Um, a little bit of heat, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of quality. Sweet with Look how nice that looks though. You would never guess that that's livers. Okay, we're gonna toss in our cheeks. We're just cooking them in the moat. Just cooking them in the moat. Get them in the moat. Let it do with this thing, with the flavors all cooked together. Okay, beauty. Let's get on to the uh Walleye Bruchette. Walleye Bruchette. Okay, take out the Y bone. So the Walleye Bruchetta, we like to use the bigger fillets. Yeah, this is a good way to get rid of your bigger fillets since a lot of people think that uh, the walleye is. Uh, Bigger walleye tastes fishier. Here's a great way to do it. You can also use northern pike with this. White fish, maybe. You can do perch. perch. Yeah, perch would probably work. Okay, so we're using a pound and a half of fish to uh, one cup of acid. So, brush, so uh, I guess it might be a bit of a confusing term. Yes, so ceviche is basically acids cooking your fish. So like a lemon juice, lime juice, vinegar. So we're using uh, lemon and lime today. You want to cut your fish. Give the a little stir. And they cook quick. It's okay though because there's uh, oil in there. Yeah. That looks hot, that looks good. Okay, so then you want to cut them nice and small and let it sit over 24 hours in your fridge. Make sure the uh, lemon juice cooks it right through. That's right. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take this other. You also want to get a some kind of container. Here's Any fish on sale at eBay? Actually, Ranko Food sells our walleye fillets, and then the uh, Silver Birch incorporates a lot of our fish into their dishes. Yeah, Darlene's doing some amazing things. Country Good Meats has some on um, over on Dawson across from Safeway. Has some of our white fish cakes, walleye wings, northern pike cakes, walleye fillets. So does uh, Randy, doesn't he? Yeah, Randy at East Coast Lobster. We've got a present from Thunder Bay. Uh, the other thing is, is if uh, if you're looking to take your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever you are uh, for Valentine's dinner, check out Silver Birch. She's uh, incorporating a couple of our dishes, right? She's using yeah, the yellow her, perch. Uh, walleye bisque looks phenomenal. Yeah, she's doing a frittered uh, walleye. Or she's doing a freshwater fish bisque with a walleye fritter. Sounds amazing. And she's doing um, a yellow perch. Seed, yellow perch. Or, yeah, yellow perch. Over a beet seed. couscous. Yeah. Beet couscous. Look how nice that is. Man, just come along beautifully. Okay, so we're just going to keep cutting this up. This is very easy. It just takes some time. Make sure you have a sharp knife. These are three very easy appetizers for this weekend. If you're looking for the fish, you probably know where you can come and get it, eh? Yes. We have fish. I'd say I'd come and help cater, but... A little busy. A little busy. I guess if the price is right. <laughs> maybe an invite to a party. Yeah, maybe it's... Uh, how, how come we haven't got invited? I don't know. No one really invites this place. I don't know what it is. You know what I don't understand either? Just just throwing this out there. Wouldn't it be nice if the uh, Kenora Chambers Awards had one of our products on their menu? Oh, well, even any fish. Like it's uh, 
Yeah, you know, local event. Maybe we would have bring some local ingredients. We would have actually sponsored the fish. We, we would have had they came to us. We would have sponsored probably some uh, very fine uh, fish cakes. Okay, those cook. Turn the heat down. So how do you know when the cheeks are cooked? They're completely white. So almost like when you cook shrimp. Same kind of uh, same kind of deal. How easy was it using the using this Nutri-Grill? I have three things on the go. I did not have to worry about what was going on in the Nutri-Grill because the Nutri-Grill cooked itself, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. We're almost done here. Pound and a half of walleye. Beautiful. <clears throat> what else is going on? What's going on with you? No, oh, not a hell of a lot. No, no, it's working. Attaboy. Living the dream. Attaboy. What's going on with you? Uh, I'm, I'm excited for April. I'm a little disappointed we missed the Jets game the other night. Yeah. To be honest with you. We were supposed to go to the Jets game and then inclement weather yeah. ruined it for us yeah. and our friend Peter. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could have went to the Jets game. I had a nice Dale Howard Chuck jersey, old school Jets. I had a Stemco's jersey. Nice jersey too. Oh, Jason wants us to know he's freezing. He is indeed right. It is blistering cold out there. Okay, so our walleye's cut up. So now what? Well, I let's... want to clean off this with some sanitizer. We're using sanitizer over here. Oh, the smell on the, the cheeks and the onions and the mushrooms is just phenomenal. Okay, so we take. One cup. How come you didn't use a fresh lemon? My lemon tree out back. Look at one cup. You know we should lemon get a lemon tree. tree. Lemon tree a, died. We should get a lemon tree. One cup of lemon juice. Do you do you have a cup? Just squeezing the last couple drops. Oh, one cup. One cup of lemon juice. So it was one and a half cups or one and a half pounds of fish. So it's a cup per fish. It's a cup per pound. Per pound, I mean. So another half a cup, I like to mix it up and use a little bit of lemon and lime. And we're doing this in the winter, but this is a great summer way to use fish. You're out sitting out at the uh, the old cottage, maybe on Lake of the Woods. It's beautiful. Okay. Mid-afternoon. So, going back in there. I like to always throw a little bit of pepper in mine. And then, to cut the acid, some cilantro. Just have to rough chop it. Nothing fancy. In goes the cilantro. No food processor for that one. Nope. And if you're looking for cilantro on sale, go by Kuwaitin Place. I was there yesterday. They have a special on cilantro. It's a bit of an odd special, but okay. On special. Give this a little stir. It's just really slow. Oh, you know why? You know why we froze, eh? Is it our internet? It's our internet, but we also had to do. So the walleye uh, bruschetta has been sitting for 24 hours. Oh, that was a convenient freeze. 24-hour freeze. The bruschetta or the ceviche? Ceviche. So after it's been in the <coughs> juice for 24 hours, you get these nice little pieces. I'm looking for the bowl. Okay. So now what you want to do? We got some red peppers. We're gonna fine dice these. Julienne them first. Julienne them first, like match sticks. So you can make your bruschetta however you want to make your bruschetta. I just found whatever I had in the. Uh, Some people throw a little olive in there. Fridge. We got uh, the. Oh, a little habanero, or no? They were poblanos. Poblanos. They were uh, leftovers from last week's episode. That's right. So 2018 is all about using the waste up, right? Yeah. So we got that in there. We also got uh, orange pepper going in there. Right, so we got some nice diced peppers. And then we're gonna put in the tomato. Oh, buddy, how you doing? Yeah. And uh, so we're doing the bruschetta. You just wanna get some lights or? Yeah, I'm gonna get uh, three lights. Okay, whatever you gotta do, you just fly at it. And then that'll take care of three of them. Okay. And all the lights will work. And then if you want more later, you can always get more later. Okay, perfect. And then just going to fix up the ones that are uh, burnt out? Yep. 
Yeah, I already the ones in the office already done. Oh wow, nice. So. Okay, beauty. Yep. Awesome, thank you, eh? Just getting a little repairs done here at the plant, fixing some lights. That's right, with the fine people at Bowman, Bowman Electric. If you're looking for good people, those are good people. Good light people. Good light people. Okay, so we're gonna fine dice the tomatoes. Don't cut yourself. That would not be good. Don't cut yourself. Sharp knife, as I was sharpening the knife before, right? Yes. If this doesn't work for you, I always like to use a serrated knife. And if you're really getting lazy, a can of uh, diced tomatoes works the same. <laughs> not as fresh. Don't produce. <laughs> produce. But you will not chop a finger off with a can of diced tomatoes. You might if you have the can opener the wrong way. Or if you open it with a knife. Yes. Do Don't open cans with knives. We know people like that. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so what what uh, what Super Bowl is it? Uh, I think it's fifty two. Really? Yeah. That old already? Wait, you you act like you remember the first Super Bowl. Or I didn't like it. I mean, you're only thirty eight, thirty seven. Uh, the exciting thing is though, uh, in ten days. Is it your birthday? I'm ten years old. Yeah. Isn't that something? Eh? Your New Year's ten years old. Yes. You know, we should have done in advance. Hmm. Chop these tomatoes. No, why? You think this is a pain? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to get our videos back under that 37 minute mark. Are we at the 37 minute we're, mark? We're probably in a while, yeah. Well, people like to see somebody cut. You know, if we had Stick Boy Productions, it'd only show a shot of me cutting this, eh? Yeah, it wouldn't be every tomato. And then we'd have music come in. No, that's. I, I don't know what the, what the hell, hell that is. That? The circus. The circus. Maybe we get that let's back get, on the. Let's get that back on the heat. Cheeks are done over there. Maybe we should uh, put it on low, get it a little... Uh, ah, no, I don't want to overcook those cheeks. I don't want to overcook the cheeks. Okay, tomatoes are done. Tomatoes go in. Let's just go on here a second. This is where we need uh, a better kitchen. Yes. Okay, so we got our tomatoes in there. We're going to throw some garlic in there. We're gonna throw some pepper in there. We're gonna throw some salt. We're gonna throw some oil. How much? I don't that know. much. We're gonna to toss this. Oh man, that looks bad. I would never guess that those are livers, would you? No. No. Although I'd never seen livers before, so. Me neither. Okay, this goes right in. You just drop your fish in. Drop your fish right in there. Next one, we want some more cilantro in there. This is finely diced, this one. This is finely diced. Then you have a nice little wine cup to do whatever you're going to do Drink cilantro with it. juice. <laughs> here. Now we just... You know what else we need? What's that? A cutting board built into the table. I think we just need a better countertop. Some granite would be nice. You know what? Giving away granite countertops. <laughs> We'd take one though. We'd happily take a granite camper top off of your hands. Yes. We'd even pick it up. Yes, we would. It could be used granite. Could be used. Okay. And it goes. Whoa. Why does it slide like that? How does that look? Looks good. Are we coming down to plating now? Yes, so. Let me clean this off. So, uh. Gusto, haven't heard from you yet, Gusto. Where you been, Gusto? Chris Knight, I know you watch. Okay, so now we're gonna give her a little stir. We're gonna get everything back on the heat so we can do some plating. We'll take this over here. Here's our beautiful, here's what we're using today. So is that our bruschetta flute? It's the bruschetta flute. Okay, so what we wanna do, this is stirred. Look how nice this is. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful color. Hey, look at how beautiful that is. That's walleye ceviche, folks. Straight out of Lake of the Woods. That's walleye bruschetta. Bruschetta. Well, ceviche inside the bruschetta. Yes. Ceviche style bruschetta. Beauty. That's nice and warm. Just got to do something here quick, sir. Over here, we... Uh, Use our dishes awfully quick, don't we? We're not of a dishwasher. <laughs> uh, so we're looking for a dishwasher uh, for Lake to Plate. You need to have uh, about um, two hours of your time available between the hours of 
There's no specific hours? There's no specific hours. Okay, so we're going like this. We're going like this. I guess I need another one, huh? So here we do our own dishes. Isn't that nice? Okay, and then we're doing one more on here. And then we are... Then we eat. Okay. So this is a nice, beautiful. Nah. It's a little phallic in design. Filling that one out there. Taking our little flute. Filling the flute. In goes the bruschetta. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the color. Beautiful flute. Can you play the flute? I can play the recorder. Mary roll the boat. No. You know, in uh, elementary school, I failed the recorder. Did you? Yeah, I did. It was a little embarrassing. I should try this, eh? Yeah. Oh. Lemon, cilantro, tomato, peppers, salt, pepper. Just that simple. Just that simple. We're eating this today. That goes right there. Then we're going to... Some beet chips. So you can scoop your so you can scoop your stuff into it, right? We're gonna put a little beet chip around it. That's your beet chip. Mm. Want one? No. I loaded up on ketchup Pringles earlier. Beautiful. Then we're gonna take this. Be nice on there. We got a little parm left. A little parm in the fridge. You run out, use it all. Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Then, no parm. Okay, no parm on there. <laughs> Last but not least, look at this, eh? Just beautiful. Is that Bradley? No, that is Bowman. Going with the lights. What a beautiful three ways to do freshwater fish for uh, <clears throat> Super Bowl weekend. Wow. I could see something like this being at... Oh, look at, look at how sexy these are. How sexy is that? What a beautiful plate. Absolutely beautiful. Three freshwater fish appetizers for Super Bowl weekend. We have the walleye ceviche bruschetta with beet chips. We have pickerel sautéed mushroom onions garlic on the Nutra Grill. Super easy. Put all your vegetables, all your fish in there. Let the Nutra Grill do the cooking. If you're looking for a Nutra Grill, www.nutragrill.ca. Promo code Lake to Plate. Capital L A K E T O P L A T E. You will get thirty dollars off if you buy one. We want to see your recipes. We want to see you cook with the Nutra Grill. We're going to be doing more with it. This one right here, we got white fish livers in a secret crack powder. All right, pow crack is powder in a secret recipe that we don't know where it came from. With uh, sautéed Brussels sprouts, thick bacon with maple chili sauce from Cisco. I've never tasted one of these. Should I give it a go? Give her a whirl. Not bad at all, bud. Bye bye all. Until next week. Till next week. Uh, are we doing uh, clover belt next week? No, I don't think so. Not doing clover. We'll see what happens. Till next week. Uh, bye bye.